Howdy folks, and welcome to Billy Jim's Guide to the Ballet. Today, we're going to be talking about Napoleon Bonaparte. Mm. Let's go back to the French Revolution, which happened in 1789. Oh, the society has all blown, been blown apart, and everything is all, it's all muckety-muck. Everything's all, all chaos, and, and there's, there's, everything's, all, everything's in, in, thrown into disarray. I can't even get the words out, it's so bad. You got political upheaval, you got violence in the street, you got people being dragged out of your houses, you got the terror! And the terror, man, I'm telling you something, it was the terror. It was bad. It was really, really bad. So, Napoleon, he becomes emperor in 1804, places the crown on his own head, and then changes start happening to its sweet, as we say in French. The French Revolution had pretty much thrown society into a big old wackadoodle machine, and that included the ballet, too. The ballet had become this big disorganized mess by the time that Napoleon took power. And he decided that he was going to fix that. So how did he do it? Well, first of all, he closed all the theaters except eight of them. And then he put the Paris Opera under in charge of this dude named ooh, Joseph Fouché. Ooh, Joseph Fouché. Ooh, ooh. I like think about Joseph Fouché now. Joseph Fouché was in charge of the terror. He, it's kind of like putting Hannibal Lecter in charge of your theater and saying, here you go, we got some cilantro in the back. You know what I mean? Now, here's the thing about Napoleon you gotta understand. Napoleon rose to power on his own merit. Nobody gave him nothing, all right? And that's pretty much what he expected everybody else to do too. When Napoleon got in power, everything became a meritocracy. So. The only way that you could get a job suddenly at the Paris Opera was if you was good. They had all these juries and committees to pass people to make sure that they was good. And if you couldn't pass it, then you couldn't go up the ladder. See, before, if you knew somebody or if you slept with the right person, you could get in really easy. But after Napoleon got in there, no, nah, you had to be good. You had to be real good or you, ain't, you weren't going nowhere. So, the Dance Academy at the Paris Opera was suddenly regulated and the students had to hone their skills military style with all the precision that that implies. Precision, precision, did I say that right? With all the precision that that implies. They called it perfection class. So this whole thing became about perfecting and refining your technique, where you could do it perfect every time without even thinking about it. If you ever wonder why you gotta go to the ballet studio five days a week, it's cause this man right here because he wanted perfection and because he wanted you to be good. Thank you all for watching. Uh, we'll see you all next week. Bye. If you want to show your support for this show, buy this here book, Ballet for Guys by Will Kern. Just click this here link and order it on up. You'll be glad you did. Trust me.